Generation 2 Past the gun review Woohoo Farmers Generation 2. Rotors and laser rods each sold separately. Welcome back to yet another Plastic On Review. Today we're going to cover Generation 2 Jolt. Here's G2 Jolt. Not to be mistaken for G2 Volt. Yes, it's a very confusing name. I don't know why they got so close with these names, but eh, they could have came up with something else. But then again, you know, we are talking about laser and electricity rods. Yes, he does have a light up engine. Lights up, lights up, lights up, lights up. No. Lighting engine! Very cool. I love this gold light awesome flame thing they got going on here it's just this is awesome I'm sorry I mean this is actually modeled after a uh, supposed to be a little Ford Rambler from back in the day I want to say this was possibly like Chevrolet this one but I can't remember when it comes to hot rods because they do a lot of tweaking to these things so it's very difficult to tell exactly which ones for which but, this one here I believe was a Ford. It really screams Ford. Um, it's not really coming off very well, but this is almost kind of a pinkish, reddish, orange color. It's very odd color, but good lord this thing is awesome! It's got a nice chrome. Just look at how shiny that grill is! Who doesn't like that? I mean, it's, it's just awesome. I mean, this thing just screams cool. Um, does have storage for his sword and the sword just slides under here and becomes a tailpipe and a rear bumper which is kind of a, a theme going on here with all these guys sadly these are the only two I actually have swords for I've been trying to find swords for the others I can't seem to find them but let's take that off and put that to the side it's very straight it's different than the uh, sword from the old vault anyhow jolt here is really cool he's got like some really nice detail going on there on the interior too it's very neat I like the idea that these guys had a lot of translucent windows that's something that a lot of transformers kinda had but kinda didn't there was some out there that just had like stickers for windows or painted windows and that was it and not these guys these guys went all out and it's like BAM I'm gonna show you what's on the inside cuz that's what we do cuz we're G2 and we're breaking the mold Anyway, doesn't have a rumbler seat. That'd be awesome if you did. Now, for those kids out there, like, what the heck is a rumbler seat? That's the old seat they used to flip up on the back, so that way people could sit here in the back and they only need to jump down the road like this and rumble them around. They bounce up and down. That's where the name came from. <laughs> Just a little bit of knowledge there for you guys out there that don't know. Those are painted on windows in the back. Um, mine aren't scratched up or anything. But I have seen them where they've been pretty faded. I've seen them where the sticker is completely missing. This sticker is not replaceable. Sadly, that is the theme going on with a lot of G2 stuff. I have talked to the guy from Repper Labels, and they do not have any intentions whatsoever of making G2 Repro Label sets, mainly because they can't get hold of them. If any of you guys out there want to be kind enough to donate your toy, Two repro labels for them to get the measurements and everything from the actual sticker that's on here for them to make them they'll do it but a lot of you guys out there probably don't um g2 is pretty cheap though so hey donate some g2 toys to repro labels so we can get some because there's a lot of guys out there would love to be able to repro label their g2 because either a half the stickers are missing 
B, they're just washed away because of use and handling and wear. Or C, some kid decided to, I don't know, window lick and start licking them. And they just start peeling. And nobody wants that. Everyone wants their toy to look cool. So, you know. Anyhow, rants aside, let's go ahead and transform this guy because he is awesome. First thing you're going to do with this guy here, you're going to flip out these feet. Just kind of flip them down just like so. He's not as loose as the other guy was, but you know, you can never, uh, can never tell. This is a running theme where a lot of the whole entire front chunk of the car just folds down. It's kind of a thing going on here with the whole line. Um, just folds out his arms just like so. It's not too hard to do. It's pretty neat. I do like the way that they engineered all this in here. It gave these guys some crazy articulation. Now this is a disclaimer and I hate doing this myself but you do have to rotate his waist which is on a rubber band. Now, he is the only one in the group that you have to rotate the waist on, which is probably why you see a lot of this guy busted here. It's just a rubber band. Like I said, G.I. Joe rubber bands are the same size. You have to think, G.I. Joe and Hasbro, yeah, they all are the same toy. When they did their whole mechanism thing and all this stuff, that's what they did. But there you go. There he is in his robot mode. He is very awesome. He's very cool. He does have the lining wire gimmick, which, you know, you saw I did not start working on that one since I moved it. Well, I'm not going to do the same thing here because I'm afraid those wires are really brittle. I would love to be able to just go in and just come up with some reproduction kit or something like that to replace that entire wiring mechanism with something new and high-tech and, you know, better LED than the t LED technology they had in there because this is 90s LED technology. But it's really cool. Um, he does have his sword. And he will gladly hold his sword. He's very cool. He's very well worth the money. Um, check out his head sculpt. He's got a really cool head sculpt. I love this light piping. I can't get over the light piping on these guys. It's just sick. I mean, look how bad. I mean, you tell me that isn't awesome. Look at that robot head. It's just screams cool. Now, you guys are probably wondering what factions these are because considering there's no faction logos on these well he's a Decepticon why well he's purple in Europe he actually does have G2 logos the American release did not have the G2 logo on it same thing with him he's actually an Autobot but we'll get on to the other ones when I get around to actually reviewing those so anyhow that is Generation 2 Jolt. And he is awesome. And I highly suggest you guys go out and get them because they're G2 and they're awesome. And G2 rocks and G2 is forever. So go out and get you some G2 goodness. Anyhow, this has been Plasticon. And this is me signing off. Peace out, you guys. <laughs>